Okay then, so now we know kind of why regular expressions are so useful in web development, let's start out by trying a few simple ones ourselves. So to do this, I'll be using an online tool called regex101.com. The link is gonna be down below. And the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have JavaScript selected as the flavor down here because this is what we'll be using to create our form validation later on. The next thing I want you to do is click on this flag over here and make sure that this global flag is deselected and it doesn't have that tick right there. I don't want that to affect us to begin with, but I will explain exactly what this flag is and what it can do for us later on. So in a nutshell, this website will allow us to create regular expressions and test them against some text to see if we get a match. For example, we could write up here where we write our regular expressions, a regex for an email address. And then down below, we can write an email address to see if it passes the regex, okay? So instead of starting with an email address, let's start with something more simple. I'm gonna create a regular expression which looks for the word ninja in this text down below. And yeah, regular expressions don't have to be super complicated strings or seemingly random characters. They can also be very simple and focused like this one. So first of all, before I type anything, notice the forward slash at the start and the forward slash at the end. This is how we format regular expressions. They're always contained within these two forward slashes and then the pattern goes in between them. So like I said, I just want to look for the word ninja in the text down below. So my regular expression is literally gonna be ninja. That's how simple it is. And you can see an explanation of this regex over here. It says ninja matches the characters ninja, literally case sensitive. So now if I type in ninja down here, then you can see it highlights and we get one match and that match information is down here. It's a full match. So it passes this regex, okay? Now what happens if I type something after this? So if I type in wah, wah, something like that, we still get a match. And this is because in our regex, we're not saying that this string right here has to be ninja and only ninja. We're just saying that it must find ninja somewhere in this text, and it does. So what if we type instead of this ninja, then ninja again? Well, we don't get a second match. We still only get one match. And that's because this regex pattern right here is looking for the first instance of this ninja word that it finds in the text and just returning that one match, the first one it comes across. However, if we go to our flag icon again and click on global, then what it's gonna do is look for more than one match. So no matter how many times we type in ninja, it's going to match them all. So this is what this G does over here. This thing right here is known as a flag and there's different flags. You see all these different ones here and they all do different things. This G one after the final forward slash is saying, hey, I want this uh, search, if you like, to be global. I want to find all the matches in the text and not just the first one that you come across. So another test, let's see if we type a capital N. Now we don't get a match. And that's because remember, this is case sensitive, okay? Now, another flag that we can use is this I flag called insensitive. And basically that means that when we're looking for matches, we want this to be case insensitive. And now we have that flag activated, it's finding this match. It's no longer disregarding it, okay? It now matches regardless of whether it's a capital and it could be all in capitals if you want, or you know, a mixture, it doesn't really matter, okay? It's now case insensitive. So there's two little flags that we can use as well to enhance our regular expression, if you like. And don't worry if you think I'm moving too quickly for now. We're gonna be going over this many, many times as we go forward through the series. So anyway, now we have the very basics of regex under control. Let's move on in the next lesson and do something a little bit more taxing.